cast your mind back. It's 2011, you're settling in to watch the latest episode of American Horror Story. The complicated characters, the first class acting, and the glorious set pieces. Now fast forward to now. Touch that hair and roll that pussy. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Matt Rogers and this is why I don't like American Horror Story anymore. Now before I get started, a mild spoiler warning, but I'm not going to be concentrating on plot details, so if you haven't seen the entirety of 1984, you're in the clear. A new season of American Horror Story is always something to look forward to. Being an anthology series means you can watch almost any season in any order you like, and each year we're introduced to a brand new world. And even though the show has slowly been declining in quality, especially in writing, I always look forward to see what a new season had to offer. My expectations were always optimistic. I was willing to give each new season a fresh new slate, including this one, but enough's enough. This season had a great premise. Set in the 1980s, a slasher nearly entirely occurs throughout the events of one night, but never have I come across such forgettable characters, which immediately undoes everything. This season's version of complicated characters is bad guys dressed as good guys and good guys dressed as bad guys. And they forgot one of the main rules of a good slasher. You've got to have a singular villain to hate. A Jason Voorhees, a Michael Myers. It could have been Mr. Jingles if they committed to it, but no. Plus, when they were brave enough to kill off a character, they didn't even die. There was no weight or consequences behind any of it. There could have been some emotional scenes, but 10 minutes later, they were brought back to life. And you didn't feel sorry for them either being stuck in limbo like you did in the first season. The one scene that was worthy of American Horror Story was Lily Raid's cold open where her son goes swimming. If the whole show had the tone of that one scene, I'd be happy. Those of you that have seen my videos where I rank the seasons know I'm a huge fan of the first three seasons and it slowly died off for me after that. Not to say the seasons to follow weren't fun to watch, I just felt there was a shift in atmosphere which didn't live up to the seasons beforehand. What happened to the epic confrontations between heavyweight actors? Now we're just left with a bunch of teenagers and Leslie Grossman. And it was glaringly obvious that we had almost zero of the original cast as recurring characters. I've said it before, but you can't tell me Evan Peters and Sarah Paulson were too busy doing their movies to be recurring characters this season. If they really believed in the script and the season's vision, I feel they would have made time to be there. This isn't the first year they've had other major projects in production at the same time, and it didn't stop them before. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with new additions to the cast. They just have to live up to those that came before them and they just don't. An argument could be made that Jessica Lange made the show and she was the missing piece, which I don't disagree with. But the show's creators Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk, they're having less and less to do with the show due to all the other offers being thrown at them. One of which was Netflix's The Politician, which was brilliant. And I almost wish they did a season of American Horror Story with a politician at its centre. And don't tell me the seventh season cult counts, because it doesn't. It just goes to prove that the creators of the show are perfectly capable of creating good television. But they've just left Horror Story behind. And plus, I really just miss Ryan's directing. The cinematography of his episode of The Politician was so beautiful to look at, and 1984 really could have benefited from that. I was thinking this season could have been adapted into a third season of Scream Queens, as that show didn't take itself so seriously and it would have made it a lot more likeable. What absolutely blows my mind is the online discussion surrounding this season. In the episode discussions, the consensus is overly positive. Some people were saying it's the best season so far. Are you kidding? Please name one thing that this season did better than any other season. But if you enjoyed it, that's great. I just wish I could feel the same way. And to think that there's still yet another season to go, and Ryan Murphy said that a future season would bring back The Witches a second time. I just don't know if I can do it again. But what do you think? Please tell me I'm not the only one that thinks this. But if you did genuinely enjoy it, let me know why in the comments. Now, I've been off for a few weeks, but I'm back, and I've got loads of new content to finish out the year. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button and if you subscribe during this video then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers and that is all.